Hello Year 2, this is Monday's Maths lesson and we are starting a new unit this term which is Unit 6, Reasoning with Measures, which is all about money and coins. And today we're going to recognise and use 1p, 2p and 5p coins, so this is Lesson 1. On the screen you can see all of the key vocabulary that we will need for this unit. So we have money, coin, note, pound, and then we have the pound sign, pence or penny, and we have the pence or penny sign, total, amount, price, cost, altogether, pay, shop, bill, change, subtract, less, take away, and difference. And as we go through the unit, I will be going through the vocabulary. And as always, if you're not sure on any of the words, please let myself know. OK, on the screen now, you can see a British word map. And these are all of the coins that we will be using over this unit. I will also add the notes that we will be using as well when we look at them. Today, we are going to focus on a one pence or one penny, two pence and a five pence. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to have a look on the screen now. We have a one pence that looks like this, but we also have a one pence coin that looks like this, okay? Because it's something called new money and money will change over time and you'll be able to see the difference in new money and old money. So you've got a one penny, which is a bronze coin, a two pence, which is a bronze coin as well. And the difference is the two pence is bigger than the one pence. OK, both of these are round and they are both bronze. And as you can see on the new coins, it has the name. So two pence, whereas on the old coins, it shows you the amount using the digits. OK, and then we have a five pence, which is the small silver coin. And like I said, old money has the number, the digit. The new money has the five pence in words. What I would like you to do is I'd just like you to pause this video and I'd like you to ask your adult or whoever is in the house with you if you wouldn't mind you looking through their purse, their wallet to see if you can identify whether they have any one penny, two pence or five pence coins and to add them up and see how much they've got. OK, so remember, we're only looking at one pence, two pence, five P today. So ask your adult, have they got any of those coins and can they show you? Can you identify them and how many do they have? OK, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at adding up the amounts that we have. So my ice cream here is an amount. OK, and I have a two pence a two pence, a two pence, and a one pence. And I need to work out how much is that in total. So if I added up each pence, how much would I have all together? So I've got a two pence here and identified it by I could see the word two pence on there and I knew it was a bronze coin and I could see the difference between this bronze coin and this bronze coin here. So can you see how this one is larger than this one pence? So I've got a 2p, a 2p, a 2p, and a 1p. And I'm going to work that out, add them up to see how much this ice cream is altogether. Now, you could write it out like this and draw your dots underneath, okay? Remember, you don't draw anything for your pence sign, okay? It's just there to show that we are talking about money. Or you could count in twos and then add one. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to count in twos. So remember, when counting in twos, we miss out a number. So we've got two, four, six. So two, four, six, because I'm counting in twos three times. And then all I need to do is just add one more on. Six add one is seven. And if I'm not sure that that's the correct answer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my dots to work it out again. So I draw two dots there, two dots, two dots, 
one dot and I count up all my dots and I would have seven dots altogether. What we are going to do now is we need to have a go at making the amount using a 1p, 2p or 5 pence coin. So my suite is 8p, but I only have 1p's, 2p's and 5p's. How could I make 8p? Well, I could start off by just using all 1p's. So I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 peas. And 8, 1 peas makes 8 p. Okay? But I could also use something else. Let's see if I can use 2 peas. I could do two, add another two is four, add another two is six, remember I'm counting in two, so two, four, six, add another two is eight, so two, four, six, eight. So I have used four 2p coins to make 8p. Now let's have a go at using five pence. Right, I've got 5p here. If I used another 5p, I would have too many because I would have 5 add 5, which is 10. So now let's see if we could use a 1p or a 2p to help us. So I have 5 pence here. I'm going to use a 2 pence. So 5 add 2 is 7. I need to make 8p. So I'm going to do one more. On my 1p and there I have 8p. The, I could use it another way. I could make 8p's out of 3 2p's and 2 1p's. There are lots of different ways you can make it. So what I would like you to do today are three activities. Your first activity is I want you to tell me how much is in each jar. So you will need to count how much is in each jar. And remember, we are only using 1p, 2p and 5p. So you will need to identify the coins in each one. Remember, you can go back to the start and have a look on the word maps and the coin maps and think about the sizing and the colour. OK, and then after you've done that, I would like you to make the amount. And just like I did using 1p, 2p and 5p's, can you make each amount? And then your third activity is a probing question. Can you show me all of the different ways you can make 9p? So just like I used three different ways to make 8p, can you show me all the different ways to make 9p? And when you've done all of those activities, make sure you send them on and upload on your portfolio on Class Dojo so I can check for your understanding.